Hello and welcome to Veya Funky Fortunes. I'm Natalie and I'm an empath and intuitive card reader. Um, the reading that I'm doing for today is a monthly reading for the sign of cancer. And the reason I'm starting there, I'm going to do all 12 signs of the zodiac for the month of July. But I'm going to start with the birthday month and the birthday month is now, which is cancer. And I'm the cancer, so this proves to be some, some personal interest here. I've already dealt out my five cards and the general energy of the reading is, hold on, I'm all thumbs here today, I've had a busy day and I need my glasses. The general energy of the cards is the page of wands and he represents creativity. The page is charming and witty and brings you great news about creative projects, travel, plans, and maybe some new work. One can now discover what one's talents are in the arts and some new ones may pop up for you. The advice is now is the time for self-expression through words, pictures, dance, music, art, painting, etc. Keywords or messages, travel, news, communication, new work, expressionism, transition, transition and entertainment. Okay, so there's the general overall reading. What I've seen overall, and I've been through the cards, is um, a lot of this is going to be financially um, a benefit towards you, Cancer. Okay, so um, each placement of the card represents a different thing. So for the first card, this is, again, um, off of that, it's the general energy of the reading itself, and it's the Knight of Cups. And there he is. And his keyword and what, what he represents, proposals. Now, proposals can mean many things. It can mean, of course, a wedding proposal, an engagement proposal, um, a job offer proposal, um, proposal with friends to maybe go on a trip, proposals to maybe move in with someone or they move in with you and you make proposals between you. Um, all kinds of really nice things like that. I think part of it is travel for a lot of you. But for the rest of you, there could be job and money being um, tagged on to the different proposals where deals are being made back and forth so that both parties benefit from it. The key words for this card are offers, dreams, illusions, imagination, fantasy, love, and infatuation. The advice is judge by actions and not by words. And you should go as far to test somebody's intentions before going along with their ideas. A romantic, idealistic man has a proposal for you. He is charming and magnetic, but he does not. His offer does not may not stand true. He may not be lying, but he's just not a realist. His words may be captivating, but meaningless. And in the real world, he is not consistent. So you know this. What this is? This is somebody, and it is male, with good intentions. And again, it could be a proposal of love. Somebody getting down on bended knee or somebody could be expressing how they really feel about you and you thought this was just an acquaintance or maybe a friend. Um, and if you're female, kind of like the brother type thing um, going on, like I love you like a brother, like a friend. And this guy, the feelings are not the same. They're, he's going to convey something very different to you. And he's going to lay, he's going to offer you the world. That's his proposal. You come with me, you be with me, and I will give you the world. Here's the thing. You have to test him to find out if his proposals have any concrete basis to them. Are they real or is this heartful wishing on his part? Hoping that once he gets you, you won't be able to tear yourself away from him, even if he's a pauper. Um... And that's all fine and dandy because, I, I don't know, some of us, I've done the same thing. You, you know, you, you go out with somebody not because of their income, but because they're a really good person, they're a nice person. Um, they care about the world around them. Their their intentions are good. Um, their, uh, their, their view of the world and their fellow human man, they have compassion for people. They're not cruel. I mean, these are qualities that rise way above somebody's bank account, okay? So that may be what this guy's all about to a point, 
But then again, hey, he could be what he says he is. But you're going to have to test, do the test of time to see um, how sincere he really is. Um, I feel to say you cannot feed another mouse. That's probably meant for me. <laughs> you you can't afford to feed another mouse. You don't. It may melt your heart and you may be endeared by any proposals, but in the real world, how can they hold their weight? How are they going to enhance your life? How are they going to make your life better and fuller, more rich, more meaningful? You know, if they come with their hat in their hand and say, I have nothing to offer you but me, you better think long and hard about it. That's all I'm saying. Think long and hard. Oh, I've been there so many times and done that myself. You know, um, I don't know who I was proving it to them or me that, that I accept people for the way they are, not for how much money they have. I know some assholes in the world, excuse my language, that, you know what? Their money just makes them more enhanced of what they really are. If you're an asshole before you got rich, you'll be an asshole afterward. Just enhanced a little bit more. If you're a good person before you became rich, if you're rich, um, you'll just be a better person for it. It enhances who you already are. Gives you the tools and the ability and the wherewithal to um, express yourself and, and reach out and do the things that you want to do. If you're a very giving person, and you were to come into money and you didn't have any before, you'll find yourself being even more giving. And that's the point that I'm trying to make here. Um, so this is the general energy here. It's giving and you're receiving. You didn't look for this. You didn't ask for this. You didn't hint at this. And I'm talking gifts of uh, money or proposals of money being laid at you. This is all going to come to you. You're not out there looking for this. Some of this will come as a surprise. Okay, so that's the first card. This is all for the month of July, and it's the general reading. So some of this may apply to you, and some may not. I went over these cards, and I'm going, me, 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 me. Let it apply to me, every card. I want this, and I need this. Bring it to me. So anyways, um, the second card is your Two of Pentacles. Your Two of Pentacles represents options. And options, the key words are choices. All the uh, the placement of this card is work and finance, by the way. That's the placement of the second card. Uh, your your uh, keywords are choices, property, finances, balance, judgment, contracts, details. The advice of this card is to pay attention to the details of any financial agreements or offers. Look for long-term benefits that benefit you rather than short-term gain. The two shows... A decision is underway. You mull over options of all possible outcomes, jobs, travel for study, uh, potential new home, personal finances can become drained. You may find yourself trying to juggle the books for the end of the month so that the books balance, okay? Your bank account balances. Your little stash at home that you keep for a rainy day maintains its level and that hasn't dropped down or drops down any at all. Um, again, with the offers and proposals, you have to, just like this guy here, okay, you the uh, you have to you have to mull things over and ask yourself, well, if this seems too easy, does this mean only short term gains for me? Does it mean anything at all? Is this going to go anywhere? How is it going to benefit me? You've got to peel away the layers there. How is this? It's that saying, what's in it for me? What is in this for me? I'm going to be helping you and aiding you because you're laying a proposal here and you need my help. But what is in it for me in the long term, in the bigger picture? I'm a bigger picture person. I always have been. I never look at short term gain because that's just trouble. It's just a sweet, pleasurable thing that it's a fly-by night and before you know it, it's over and you wish you had taken the other option. So these things you do have to be careful of. You have to make sure that uh, there's balances. You may be uh, looking into purchasing a property. Please go over all your contracts with a fine-tooth comb. As they say, the devil is in the details. 
and that's so very true. If there's anything crooked that 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 is that is abounding through a contract, that's where you're going to find it. I've said this before in a previous reading. We don't look for trouble. We don't look for what's wrong. We always keep an open mind, and we always, you know, um, stay positive. But when you're signing contracts for a big deal or a proposal, look at it with a critical eye. Every detail, go over it with it. Look for things wrong. Okay, go out of your way to study your contracts and your agreements and deliberately go out of your way mentally to look for things that are wrong. And if you don't find anything, then, hey, green light all the way. And now you know what's coming at you, where we're going with this. Um, uh, things like property, make sure what's involved with the property purchase. Make sure that the hardware on the cupboards are included with the house. You know, all the hardware in your door. That happen. That does happen. It does. Um, make sure of this, the most mundane, most unassuming things. These are the things we have to be careful of because they can be problematic down the road. And if your your hardware for your doors is gone, um, and it does happen, people go that far. I like these doorknobs. I spent a lot of money on them. When I saw this house, they're going with me. You want to make sure you're able to have a doorknob to turn to get into the house once the closing date has gone by and you're all ready to move in. So there's something, just little things like that to look for. You know, ask, do the drapes remain? Do the curtain rods remain? Um, do um, the appliances remain? Or are you taking those? Okay, so um, again, look at the long term and the bigger picture and make sure and stay with that. And again, go over your finances with a fine tooth comb. You don't want to be doing the juggling act to, cry, to make everything because you know what? Somewhere in your life in that area, your financial area, you're going to come up short. That's a given. You can't balance the other books if you're short overall. You're going to come up short. And you're going to have to deal with that eventually. Okay? It's like me sometimes. I have to rob Peter to pay Paul. Is it the phone bill or is it the power bill? Well, I might be able to skip the phone bill for a month. But by geez, I'm telling you, the month later, they want their money, they want it now, we're cutting you off. I mean, that's the way it goes. So you have to, you have to pay the piper or dance with the devil. And that's the bottom line on that card. Okay, Cancer. So the third card represents your love relationships, your home, your heart, your love relationships, your romantic relationships, and all these good things. And this card falls into the Six of Pentacles. And the key word for this is generosity. Okay, and the keywords are finances and gifts, balances, help, compassion, humility, and protection. I love humility because you know why? It's a wonderful feeling. To feel humble usually means something absolutely out of this world wonderful has just taken place. And you feel humbled by it because you feel, do I deserve this wonderful gift? This wonderful thing that's just happened to me. Being humble is, I've been there. It's really, really nice to be humble, um, especially if you don't see it coming. It's very moving that somebody out there thinks that much of you to recognize you. Um, I'm not even having any particular memories here, but it's it's moving me to even think about it. The empath is in me, and spirit is pushing to let you know, allow yourself to be humble, because being humble is such a wonderful, wonderful thing. It really marks your place on the planet and in life in general, and it puts you in this special little spot for that length of time. So the advice is to receive gifts, any gifts that you're given with thanks and with grace. And if giving to others, enjoy it. Giving is in itself its own reward. Um, but don't don't ever go and give to others um, because they're uh, like, as if to say, well, I'm going to go help them. I'm going to go volunteer somewhere. And down the road, that'll come back for me in a positive way. That's the whole wrong attitude. You go in and you don't expect anything. That's the whole heart of giving right there. You don't expect anything in return. You feel driven to do this. You feel nudged 
to go help or volunteer somewhere, help a neighbor, help a friend, whatever. Don't hold the door open um, expecting favors to come back off of that because then you're giving for the wrong reasons. And don't say, well, I'm just going to go help somebody because, um, it, you know, it's going to make me feel really good. Well, you know what? When you're really giving and you're really volunteering and you're giving yourself completely, it's not about you at all. It's not about you feeling good. It's not about you doing your good deed for the day. That's bull crap. Okay, sorry if I offend anybody, but that kind of irks me and it really gets me going. Like, why are you really doing it? You do it because you need to do it, maybe because it's expected, and maybe you should expect that of yourself. Don't expect anything in return. And you know what will happen down the road? Chances are you will be rewarded for it when you least expect it, but when you most need it. That's the way to look at that. So, um, if, if you, you, you're probably going to receive a gift. Um, of, of maybe money or a token of love, friendship, or support. If you are the recipient, this is a feel-good money gift. This is just for you to go out. Oh, boy, somebody gave me money as a gift. I'm telling you, it was more than a grocery order. <laughs> because groceries would be on that list for spending that money. But I can think of so many things that I personally need just as being female that I don't hit. Look at these clothes I'm wearing today. They all have heavy rags, and it's like 25 degrees and sunny out here. And I'd love to be dressed in something white and light, you know. Um, it's just little things like this. And, you know, females need a little bit more than males do. We need we need makeup and, and hair products and, and things like this. And dang if I ain't a little on it all. And I'm not throwing any hints, so don't anybody take it that way. Okay, so... But if the give the money is gift, it's a it's a feel good gift. It's just for you. It's for you to go out and make yourself feel better with. And somebody was so warm and so thoughtful to come and do this for you. It is your birthday month after all. Okay. So some of you, this is going to happen for. Hope I'm one. Hope I'm one. Anyway, <laughs> um, let's see. The gratitude that you'll feel from a gift such as this will be absolutely 100% genuine. You'll be filled with gratitude. And equally, if you're donating your time and supporting friends, um, it's the same. It goes the same way. Um, anywhere you see a struggle this month, cancer, go help somehow. Be it in your neighborhood, be it through your friends, be it through somebody online. Um, uh, any group that you know of, any place in town, any charitable, if you see somebody or something struggling, maybe it's um, an older person trying to get across a busy intersection carrying a lot of bags. You know what? Grab the bags, walk them across the road, and don't end there. Say, where do you live? And I'll carry these home for you. What do you got to lose? Is your life that full and that busy? Oh, you're going to be five minutes late for your hair appointment? Big deal. Help somebody out when you see them struggle. And don't expect anything in return. Okay, so the next card, which is your fourth card, represents your challenges, and it is the Knight of Wands. It represents activity. Activity. Okay, so the advice of this card is to choose what will benefit you in a, for the best of you from either work or um, your intentions. Uh, remain completely grounded. You'll make great strides and steps towards success. Your keywords are energy, movement, passion, focus, balance, communication, and relationships. Choose what will benefit you the best. We're going to come back to this guy again. Is it all pipe dreams? His profession of love and of life and what he promises you? Will it benefit you in the long run? Will it make life easier for you? Okay? Not even just for love. Like I said, this could be a proposal of a job, agreement, a project, something that somebody wants you to get involved in and get on board with. Look at it long and hard. So these two cards are almost the same. It's almost like this card is reinforcing this card and what it means. Okay? Um... I feel for some of you, too, um, for July, you could take on a little bit more, and you'll end up having to drop the ball on one one thing or another. Um, 
maybe you are feeling very generous of self and you're trying to give and help out more than one person, you could scatter yourself thin and end up disappointing somebody. Be very careful of that because what happens is you get so busy, you can't uphold one end of one agreement while fulfilling the other and the other one wanted more than what you thought and that's why the other one gets left behind a little bit. It's your word. Your word means everything. If you have nothing else, you're all about your word. Don't scatter yourself out. Take on what only you can take on. If you have to tell somebody, I will be by to help you, but you're going to have to wait because I'm already involved with this other person helping them with something. Just be honest and be direct on that. Okay? So the challenges are going to be meeting your dedications, meeting your deadlines and your commitments. Be very careful of that. If you've got commitments and deadlines, don't go back on them. It'll ruin your name. Okay? People will second guess you after that. All right? As long as you're straight and honest, you can't go wrong because honesty and the truth never change. They're as rock solid as a chair I'm sitting in. Is it going to? My chair is not going to change into a couch. It is what it is. To put it in plain English, honor your commitments and don't get yourself too thinned out. Those are your challenges for the month. And now your advice from spirit is the wheel of fortune and it represents destiny. This is your last card in the reading. The key words are fate, luck, the unexpected, movement, change, crossroads, and clairvoyance. How interesting. The advice, this card is not so much about doing as receiving. Go with the flow. Be grateful for all the good fortune coming your way. This card is a boost to your life. Forward moving, allow fate to head you to your destiny and lead you that way. It shows feeling optimistic, turning unexpected chances into great decisions. Intuition is heightened as well. Had this card, I think it was yesterday, the day before for the general daily reading. So this come up again and spirit is telling you that wonderful things are coming your way for the month of July. Jeez, I hope I'm on that list, I gotta tell ya. Um, Cause I'm, I'm, a, I'm a cancer through and through. My birthday's July the 10th, so I land smack dab in the middle. And um, pretty much if you wanna know what I'm all about, you look up what cancer's all about and their personality and that's pretty much me. Um, yes, don't be so much about doing as receiving. Um, you know, go with the flow. Go with the flow as things are coming to you through the month of July. Just kind of like float along and accept things. Um, deal with every little thing as it comes up, good or bad. This month is about you. Not just because it's your birthday month, but because this card, spirit, says things are coming to you. To you. To you. Okay? Things are coming towards you. Um, part of this is a payoff for the manifestation and the intuition that you were asked to use at the beginning of the week. Um, you've manifested some things and they're already coming to you. As I said, when you try to manifest, don't use the word want or need because all the universe is going to hear, oh, what's it like to want and what's it like to need? Well, let's let you need a little bit more and want a little bit longer. Bring it to me. When you want something, remain realistic and logical. Keep that real. Feet on the ground, no fantasies allowed, and say, bring it to me. And if you feel it in here, you have to feel that vibration very strongly. You will bring what you want and bring what you need. Just don't use those words. Leave need and want out of it. All right, well, look at that. 2332, and the reading is complete. And what a great month it's going to be. Get ready, Cancer, to receive a lot of love, a lot of attention. Um, some gifts of money, we hope, um, some beautiful other gifts, because everything's not about money at all, is it? We talked about that earlier. Um, don't scatter yourself too thin. Any contracts or agreements, look for the devil in the details to make sure that there's no devil there. Look at long-term gain and not your short-term gain. And I think that's it for now, Cancer. If you like this video, please like and share. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please just click the red subscribe button. It'll notify you every time I upload any new videos. 
And if you really like this reading and you want to continue the reading onto something more personal that is 100% just made for you, I do personal readings. All the information you can find to contact me is in the box down below in the description box. And my website address is there. There's a, there's a, a general contact form you can fill out. But my email address is there as well. So if you'd like to email me for a private reading, everything is right there underneath that picture. Crow Island, there's one paragraph, and I, I sum everything up and how it works with me. Okay, so I think that's about it for today, Cancer. I hope you have a really great month. I hope I have a really great month, and I'm going to wish you goodbye and all the best, and most of all, Cancer, happy birthday. <laughs>